Hello everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. I'm sure by now you already know what we're talking about, so let's not waste time too much. <laughs> and just go straight into today's topic. So we're going to be talking about sewing foods, the different foods for like different purposes, but in this video I'm just going to be highlighting four of the most important foods that you should have. Is it foods or feet? Like when you're talking about plural. Anyway. The four sewing foods sha, that you should have. <laughs> so I'm sure you're seeing a lot here, but yeah, it's just four. So I'm just going to categorize them so that we know how they are. So these three, are one, they do one job. These two do one job. This one does one job and this one does one job. So I'm going to be starting with this one. This is our normal regular sewing foot. Like this is the regular one. This is the one that comes with the sewing machine. And of course, it can sew any and everything, just that, um, you know, there's some other foods that will just give you like more convenience and more ease when you're making stuff, which is why I am so happy to buy any foods that helps me with any other thing really, especially things that I do every day. So this is the normal food that comes with the machine. So now let's talk about the zip foot. So this is called the left right zip foot. So if I'm holding it like this, which is how really it sits on the machine, um, you can see that it has, this place has one side facing here and this has its own side facing here. So like if you're fixing a zip and you need to like change the, maybe you want to sew the left side, you put the left one. You want to sew the right side, you put the right one. That's what they mean by left, right sewing foot. And this foot is super, super convenient. So just here's how it works. You raise your, <laughs> you raise your foot and then you remove your original foot and then you insert any of this. I like to use the one that has the L. So if you look at both of them, the inscriptions are different. So this one has P36LN, and this one has just P36N. I like to use this one. This one that has the L part of it, like it's super convenient. So anyway, you put it over there, put your zip, and then you just sew. Like it gives this very, very, very clean result that just leaves only the teeth of the zip out there so that is why i like to use this uh, zip foot this also shows for you can also use this for your invisible zip and really any kind of zip it's just a very very like convenient foot to use okay so the next one is our gathers foot <laughs> i brought all three because i just wanted to show you that whichever one you buy you are still on the right path even though this is my least favorite the one that says uh, P50. This is my least favorite because it doesn't really give me that, you know, that sweet full gathers that I am looking for. So all three of them are gathers foods or gathering foods, anyone. All three of them do that job. So like I said, this is my least favorite, this one that looks like this. Let me show you how it looks. This is the top, this is the back. Yeah, this one is my least favorite. It doesn't really give me like, the sweet fullness that I am looking for, but I'm sure it works for some people, especially those I don't want to do like full gathers. Then this one, P952, is what is written here. It is my second favorite. <laughs> it is my second favorite because truly really, this foot is straight to the point. You're just losing your screw, how loose you want it to be. If you want your gathers to be really tight, you tighten the screw like just straight to the point, even though you still need to do like the settings on the machine. This is my favorite. <laughs> and it says um, Susei P950. Okay, this one is P50. I just wanted to be sure that I was, it wasn't the same. This is P50, this is P950. Uh, okay, so this one is the favoriteest, my favoriteest. So this one truly is also straightforward. You, uh, you remove your normal sewing foot, you insert this one, and then you set your machine. So you need to do the setting on the machine. The setting on the machine, your stitch length needs to be at five. It needs to be like really, really loose. And then your tension needs to be tight. So the thing with the tension is, if you want your gathers to be really loose, you make your tension loose. If you want it to be really, really tight, like full, you make your tension to be tight. That's how this works. You can also do your um, settings through the stitch length knob. If you want your gathers to be loose, you can use three or four, four really, it's four I normally use for loose gathers. So if you want it to be like really tight and gather very well, you use five. 
So this foot is the bestest, and it comes in two in one. So this part of it is detachable. You can use a screw to remove this and put the other part. So one is for like thick fabric, the other one is for light fabric, but I use this one. I use this one for everything, for the light fabric, for the thick fabric, for the bubu, I use this one. Okay, so that is that about our um, Gada's foot. Then the next is the elastic foot. I'm checking to see if this has a number anywhere. Okay, yes, it does. Um, this one says, so say S537 half, like one over two. So I'm guessing that it means that this is for the 0 0.5 elastic. And this foot is super convenient. Yes, take that statement to the bank and collect foot. <laughs> this, this foot is super, super convenient. It's really the same way too. You remove your um, original foot that comes with the machine. You insert this one. And then, depending on how tight or how loose you want your elastic to sew, you work with this screw here. So if you want it to like take in the elastic small, 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 so that whatever it is that you're sewing to be really tight, you tighten your screw. If you want it to be loose, you're losing your screw. It's really straightforward, like very, very straightforward. The last one that we are looking at is the compensating foot. So for a long time, I was calling this foot the contemplating foot. <laughs> and I don't even know why, because the name is just so long, like couldn't they find something else? But anyway, this is the compensating foot. It helps with sewing your collar, it helps with top stitching, it helps with like really wonderful things and that is why I like this. So if you want really straight sewing, let's say you already made something, like you already made a stitch and then you're trying to make it top stitch. I actually use it mostly for top stitch and for my trouser band. So let's say you've done any of those things and you just need to have a straight sewing, this foot. <laughs> you don't need a ruler, you don't need a ruler. This foot will give you that really straight sewing. And I think it also comes in like so many different types and so many different sizes. I just bought this one. Let me just see like how it's going to go. And I really like this one. So if I come across the other ones that do the other, um, let's say do half sewing, because this one is really tiny. Actually, I'm, I'm going to show you. If I come across the other ones, I am definitely buying it. I am most definitely buying it. So yes, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, Bo. Eh? Bikonu. Subscribe and... Please share this video to whoever is just starting their sewing life and they don't know what foods to buy. Start with these. And let me say something as well. These two are sold like this. They are not sold separately. They are sold like this. Don't let anybody sell one for you like this, no. They are sold together. That's why they are called the left-right foods. So yes, I just wanted to say that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. Please like, share, subscribe, turn on the no notification bell, do everything that they normally do for videos. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye.